In this video, we're going to show you some of the common problems when licensing SciChart WPF version 6. The first port of call, if you would like to find out how to license SciChart WPF v6, is to go to our website, www.scichart.com slash licensing SciChart WPF. In here, we have instructions for how to start a SciChart WPF trial and how to activate a paid license. Please note that these steps are applicable only to SciChart WPF version 6 or higher. If you have followed these and are still experiencing problems, this video will be able to help you. The first port of call when experiencing any problems is to go to our GitHub repository, github.com slash abt software slash SciChart WPF examples. Make sure you're on the correct branch. The latest branch is SciChart v6 release. If you go to Sandbox, and then licensing test app, you'll find a number of licensing test apps here that you can try out, including steps to troubleshoot issues. I'm going to use the async license loading test app. If you clone or download the SciChart WPF examples repository and go into the test app and open it in Visual Studio, you can see a minimal SciChart application that you can use for testing licensing. The licensing test app includes a 2D SciChart surface and a 3D SciChart surface. You can find these in the XAML file called scichartcontrol.xaml. There is also a placeholder in app.xaml.cs where you can enter your runtime license key. Do this to check that your licensing is working. To find your runtime license key, go to www.scichart.com slash profile. In here, you will see all the licenses that have been assigned to you. If you don't see any, contact your license administrator. Click on the button Show Runtime License Key to see the keys. There are two separate keys for SciChart WPF version 6 and SciChart version 5. Note that these won't work on the opposite version. You have to use the correct one for the version of SciChart that you're using. Copy the runtime license key from this web page and then go back to the licensing test app and paste it in here. Now if you click start, you will notice that the Powered by SciChart watermark, which is usually shown during the trial, is still shown on the application. This suggests that the application has not been correctly licensed. However, this is expected behavior as you are debugging the application and this license key included is a runtime key intended for when you distribute the application. Instead, when you start outside of the debugger, you will see that SciChart is correctly licensed. In order to license the application as a developer, you will need to use the SciChart licensing wizard. Search for it in your start menu and the SciChart licensing wizard should start up. Enter your username and password from the SciChart site. If you don't have an account, you can create one. This application will show you the status of your current licenses. In order to activate a license, you need to go to scichart.com slash profile, click on the button show serial keys, and copy and paste the license serial key into the licensing wizard. We do this on the activation page. Select activate a license online, paste in the serial key and click activate. Your developer license has now been activated on this machine. If you go back to the licensing test app and click start in the debugger, you will see that the application is now correctly and fully licensed for development. After activating, if you go to the All Products tab on the SciChart Licensing Wizard, you should be able to see your license information. If you wish to release this license and transfer it to another user, select the option Deactivate a license and then select which license to deactivate. 
This process removes a developer license from your PC and if you remove it from all PCs that you have activated on, the license key will now be available to transfer to another user. If you are behind a corporate firewall or proxy and cannot reach our server, we also have an offline licensing and activation method. Similar to before, enter your license key into the offline activation and click Next. This will generate a request code which you need to send to salesprocessing at abtsoftware.co.uk with the subject line activation request. Click Next and if you have an email client, this will open up the default email client with a pre-populated email to send us. If you don't have one, just send us the request code as we've instructed. If you send that email, within a few short minutes, our servers will reply with a response code. The response code looks something like this. Select and copy the response code from your email and paste it into the SciChart licensing wizard and click activate. You've now activated SciChart on this developer PC. If after performing these troubleshooting steps you're still experiencing problems, go into Google and type SciChart common errors with licensing. The first link should take you to our forums, which has some common errors that you can use to troubleshoot further. By far the most common problems are is that some of our customers activate SciChart WPF version 6 using the version 5 licensing wizard or vice versa. The licensing changed from version 6 onwards, so you need to make sure that you use the correct version of licensing wizard for SciChart. The next most common problem is activating and not applying a runtime key, or applying a runtime key but not activating on developer PCs. Finally, applying an out-of-date runtime key or license with the latest version of SciChart also won't work. If you require further assistance in licensing your application, please contact us. We will be glad to help.